Hey, McDowan here. Today we are reviewing the 4-inch Fortnite set Bombs Away Glider, and it comes with jewels. Not TN Tina. That's a little weird. All right, let's take a look at the front of the box. I picked this set up at Target for $19.99. Now we'll flip around to the back side. Up at the top right corner is the quote. Down near the bottom is the cross sail. And on the left is a cool 3D rendition of jewels on the glider. And for those of you who want to see the barcode, well, here it is. Let's get this figure open. If you are new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your Epic account. It's McDowan. Jules is an Epic skin and part of the Intrepid Engines set. She was available in Chapter 2, Season 3, part of the Battle Pass, available at Tier 40. I find it odd that they included Jules with this glider set and not Tiantina. I've heard that Jules is the daughter of Midas, so well, maybe that's why. Maybe uh, Tiantina was planned and something happened to the figure during manufacturing? I don't know. Hopefully we'll find the answer to this mystery someday. But until then, Jules is a really, really cool looking figure. I'm really pleased and happy that we finally we got this one. I don't think, I think this is the most recent skin in game that we've received in action, action figure form. I don't believe anyone from season 4 or 5 of chapter 2 has made it out yet. The one single accessory she comes with is the big lug harvesting tool. This is the single version, not the dual wielding wrenchers that she also has in game. This is just the, the single harvesting tool, and it's pretty cool. I like the paint here. This looks like a real wrench. You could put this around something and, and crank it, tighten it, loosen it, whichever. This is really, really neat. Nothing moves. This doesn't wiggle. Uh, nothing really wiggles. This is just how it is. Pretty, pretty cool. I think it might be pretty obvious, but she comes with the Bombs Away glider. This is a pretty cool deal, and we'll get more into that We'll get more in-depth in just a bit, but yeah, pretty cool glider. And she comes with the Bombs Away Glider Instruction Manual that talks about some of this stuff. Oh, hey, that's interesting. We just, look at this. This is kind of interesting. This says wrenchers. That's a single one. I wonder if they meant to uh, include the dual-wielding wrenchers instead of the, the big lug harvesting tool. That's kind of interesting. Maybe they just wrote the wrong one down. I don't know. But anyway, instruction manual for the glider. We'll jump back to the figure now and take a look at her articulation. The design-wise, she looks really, really good. This has got to be one of the better female figures that Jazzwares has put out. I Some of them look a little weird and a little clunky, but this one, I think she looks really, really good. She's got the goggles on her head. She's got her tattoos up and down her arms and even around her waist, midriff area. She's got all these little pouches and tools and buckles popping out. She really looks like herself. She's, she's a really cool looking figure. Her head will rotate all the way around. The pigtails are really soft rubber. They're not uh, difficult to move around. So when she looks down, she can look down. If she wants to look up, well, there they are. They're sticking out like antennas. Just kidding. Her arms rotate all the way around. They both do. She can lift her arms up, and she's got some pretty good smooth motion happening. You hear a little ratcheting here and there. The elbows rotate, and sometimes it's difficult with the tattoos to know for sure where the arm and forearm are supposed to be, but they will match up. Just kind of look right there. You'll see the bend, and uh, there you go. Her wrists will rotate. And it's a little difficult to get the hinge to do what it's supposed to do because she's got some pretty good sized cuffs for the gloves. Gloves don't really have cuffs. But uh, you can get them if you work on it gently. You can get the wrist to hinge. She's got a really great torso. My figure does at least. She wiggles around really well. Yeah, her leg falls off. It fell off on me earlier. Um, so, But we can deal with that. Now, her waist is very difficult, so difficult I can't get it to rotate. I don't know if I'm going to have to soak this figure in hot water or if there's a connection with her belt and the waist. I'm not quite sure, but it it's solid. It really does not want to move. She can do the splits only about that far because she's got 
pouches on her left and her right legs, so she can only go up so high. She can move around like she's walking pretty good. And again, the hindrance with these pouches hinder how far the thigh rotation goes. She's got this little apron in the front, and so the pouches hit the apron, and so then you got problems. She's got this pouch on the back, and so her left uh, pouch hits that. So you're not going to be rotating her thighs too far. But then again, we're people. How far do we really rotate our thighs? I think it works. She's got double pins on the knee. And finally, down here, she's got this kind of strange rotation, as all Fortnite 4-inch figures do for the ankles, and a nice hinge that allows her to do all sorts of kicks and jumps and leaning forwards. And that's Jules, a really pretty awesome figure. Really like this figure. It's got to be up there in the probably the top five or top ten at least of female figures they've put out. Prickly Porcupine is uh, up there in the top as well. I like that figure. But uh, Jules, this is a great figure. I'm going to do it real quick. Let's uh, gear her up, give her her harvesting tool. Fingers are pliable. Some of the earlier figures or some of the figures from 2020 had some really, really stiff hands. And these are almost a little bit too pliable. They're pretty pliable and rubbery. But, uh, and the harvesting tool is almost too big for her hands. But that's all right. She can hold it. And if you just want to stand her up and display on a shelf, work just fine. Work really well. If you want to actually play with her, this thing might pop out pretty often. Might be best to have her hold on to the silver portion. That's a little bit thinner instead of down here where the handle really is. Anyway, that's cool. This is Jules. That's awesome. Let's get to the glider. The Bombs Away glider. To get it working and running, you will need a couple AAA batteries like I've got here and a screwdriver like I've got here because you have to unscrew the screw that holds the battery cover on and pop that off anyway. So I'm going to put batteries in this thing and we'll continue on. I now have the batteries installed and it's ready to go. You know, this is just a fun, wacky little toy. There's not a lot to it, but you don't need to have a lot to it. You've got these spinning wheels on the bottom that zip all over the place. The motor is here in these front wheels. And as it goes, moves forward, this spins around and sends it in all sorts of different directions. These wheels on the back are along for the ride. They don't direct it. They don't move it. They don't do anything but follow along. So this thing can have its wacky little fun. So you can actually play with this toy without the need for this. The po bottom portion separates. This is just a motorized base. Uh, we saw this before with the transforming drift board that came with Peely. And it was white and you put some drift boards on top and it flipped around. But you can actually play with this just like this. Now, one disappointing thing about this, and my my one critique would be that unlike the drift board, this has a big gouge in the middle when you take out this motorized function. It would have been cool to have just a little plastic cover to be able to pop into here that finish rounding out this bombs away bomb, the kaboom. And so because of that, I don't know, you set it down and I guess it sits all right. But uh, yeah, you can just fly this thing. You don't have to have this motorized function to have a lot of fun with this. I think we need to bring Jules back in here because there are pegs on top of the kaboom, the bombs away glider. Now, one interesting little fact for all those people out there who care, this is the first ride on top of that I am aware of that Fortnite has. They introduced this glider as a first ever ride on top of, and they've released several ride on top of gliders since then. But uh, she hooks on there quite well. I'm going to have to pull on my camera back so we can see some more stuff. All right, there. Now we can see her a little bit better standing on this bomb. But yeah, you can uh, have a lot of fun just flying her around and dovetailing and all sorts of things as you fly her through the air. I don't see why that's uh, a, not a pro. Uh, that would be an awesome thing. That's how I would love using this. But if you just wanted to drive your cats nuts, then you can uh, put it here on the frame. Should just slide right back on like that. 
turn that sucker on and I, I'll do that. I'll turn this on, on real quick here at the bottom. At the end, the on and off button is right there behind the wheels that don't do much of anything. But as soon as you turn this thing on, you got some crazy motions and I'm going to set this down and it's going to go right off my table here. See, there it went. <laughs> I have to admit, this is a lot better than the Peely one. The Peely one tended to tip over and fall over more. Now how this works, so let me flip this off. How this is supposed to work is when this runs into something, it's supposed to move it backwards or move it in a different direction. This is never supposed to stop. It's supposed to always move, always keep going forward. When it can't go forward, it backs up and goes in a different direction. And yeah, you can drive your cats nuts. I did it with the Peely Driftboard, and that was a lot of fun. I might just for fun in another separate video upload the Bombs Away Glider and the Transforming Driftboard, just kind of doing their thing in a on a hard surface area. I won't do that in this video. I think you've seen enough. I think you understand how this works. It is a really, really fun toy. I think I got everything covered, so thank you for stopping by and watching. Check out the 2021 Fortnite Toys video in the lower left-hand corner to be informed of what you can expect to see in future videos. Don't forget to leave a comment about what you think of this crazy, wiggly, driving all over the place toy. You know, And are you going to get it? Would this be something that you would jump out there and say, I have to have it? Leave a comment below, and I will see you in the next video.